OK, well, congratulations. Your second win over the number one player and through to the final. How are you feeling right now? Yeah, I feel great. Um, obviously, always nice to beat the number one player in the world and also to, to make it to the final. Um, yeah, it was a great match. It was tough. Kind of a roller coaster, really up and down, but glad I was able to uh, hold my nerve there at the end. Uh, you lost in the semis the last two years in Canada. Third time's a charm, I guess, for you? <laughs> yeah, I hope so. Um, I hope third time's a charm. Yeah, to win the tournament as well tomorrow, but I've always played really well here, and I've lost a couple tough matches and semifinals here as well. So, um, yeah, I remember I lost like a tough one to Halep last year and then another one to Georgie. So, again, they both went on to win the tournament, so I hope, I hope that means that uh, I can get the win tomorrow. Just wondering what was going through your head when you know you had the chance to serve in the match a lot earlier, and then yeah. you lost that. And yeah, you know, how did you, how'd you um, I guess get it back together? Yeah, I don't know. Um, I, I felt like if I could have held to go at five three in the second, like I, I could have broken her, judging by the fact that I was breaking a lot. Um, but she hit one good return, and then I made a bad forehand error with it was swirling with the wind, and I kind of took my mind off of it. And um, so then that kind of happened. And I felt like then after that, she started to play really well. Even though I served for it at 5-4, I thought she played like a great game. She hit like two lines and just went for her shots. And sometimes that just happens. Um, and then in the third, yeah, I got down a break. I, w I was getting frustrated that I wasn't holding. But then at the same time, I knew she was having trouble holding as well. So I just wanted to keep, you know, just hold that game. And I was like, I know I'll get more chances if I can just hold. <laughs> so uh, that was just basically it was whoever could kind of consolidate the break. Um, so yeah, mentally, it, it was just trying to play the right spots on your serve, um, make first serves. I don't know, sometimes it feels like it's really difficult. And then sometimes it, you hold easy. So I, I don't know really what it is. But um, I think it's just trying not to get too frustrated. Just a funny one. Um, I just saw a video of you uh, opening a beer last year when you lost to Iga. Yes. Do you think of uh, allowing yourself a beer to have a victory <laughs> beer? Um, I don't know, maybe after the tournament, yeah. Maybe I'll allow myself after the tournament to have a beer. Um, but yeah, no, that was a funny moment. And I, I get so many people that are like, I loved when you drank the beer last year. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm glad everyone enjoyed it. In the tie break of the second set, you were leading 4-2, and then there was the, the mistake by the DJ, <laughs> and she went to uh, win the five next point yeah. to, to win the set. Did, what, did it did, did derange you? It, it went to your mind? <laughs> I just thought it was funny. I've never had that happen, let alone with Cotton Eye Joe. I was like, is this really happening right now? Like, of all the songs, it was just like, what is going on? But... No, I mean, yeah, it was a bummer because I hit a really good lob and she barely got it and I had a really good play on the ball and she was kind of out of position from the lob that I hit. So, I mean, I don't know if I would have won the point. Maybe I would have been up 5-2, but I, that doesn't mean I'm going to win the tiebreaker. Um, I think the wind started shifting. So, like, it was really, I felt like I was really against the wind on that side, um, the side that that point happened on. So she was playing really aggressive and I was kind of on my back foot a lot uh, for the rest of that tiebreak. So... Again, I felt like I told myself going into the third, I need to play more aggressive on that side and really try to get better depth on my shots. Um, and then on the other side, it was kind of the opposite. Like, you don't have to go for as much because I was with the wind. So I think, yeah, it was tough switching sides. Yeah, maybe that point would have been nice, but, you know, you, you don't know really what's going to happen. Uh, what can you say about your potential next opponent? Uh, and uh, are you going to watch the game tonight? Yeah, I'll definitely watch. Hopefully they get the match in if it doesn't rain. Um, again, very two similar players. Um, serve big, hit big, <laughs> like to really go after their shots, both really tall, physical girls. Um, I, I really I feel like it's a toss-up. I'm not really sure who's going to win, but uh, whoever wins, I feel like it's a very similar game plan, um, trying to take away their serve and then um, you know doing my best to – I think to just play my game, I, I think I match up well against them at the same time. But um, yeah, it'll be tough. They're two big servers that play very aggressive. So we'll see what happens. I've played both of them before, so nothing really that new. Any more questions? Okay. Thank, Thank you. you.